Myeloma is a complex cancer of the plasma cells, a type of white blood cell found in the bone marrow. Plasma cells play an important role in the immune system. They produce antibodies to fight the germs that cause infection and disease. Unlike other types of blood cells that come and go, plasma cells stay in the bone marrow for many years. Their job is to remember the germs that have previously invaded the body. Under normal conditions, plasma cells exist in a quiet state. But when a germ reinvades the body, the plasma cells become active and divide to form many copies or clones of themselves. These clones produce large amounts of the same antibody that recognize and remove the germ very quickly. Plasma cells therefore play an important role in generating immunity to infection and disease. Myeloma begins when the genetic material of a plasma cell is damaged but isn't repaired. Damage to genes controlling the cell cycling causes the plasma cell to multiply more quickly than normal. All of the new cells have the same genetic change as the original plasma cell and give rise to a population that are identical or monoclonal. Over time, one or more of the new cells may become even more damaged and as these multiply, different populations or subclones of abnormal plasma cells develop. Myeloma is therefore not a single cancer, but a collection of different types of the same cancer. Subclones compete for resources within the bone marrow, and some even depend on each other for survival. In the right environment, the clones that survive go on to thrive and allow the myeloma to progress and persist. Treatment destroys some of the subclones, but others may have a survival advantage that helps make them resistant to treatment. Remaining subclones may be dormant for a time and provide a period of remission. However, they will at some point become active again if they incur further genetic damage, or if the environment changes in a way that favours their growth. This is the reason why relapse occurs. With successive lines of treatment, the toughest clones are naturally selected for survival. Those that remain are the ones that are resistant to treatment. Understanding how a patient's myeloma evolves throughout its course will help determine the best treatment for them at that time.